Hola a todos, bienvenidos a mi canal, soy Mincheta y aquí estamos en el episodio 4 de The Wolf Among Us, disfrazado de cordero. En el anterior recapitulamos que eh, nos encontramos con uno de los matones del de hombre torcido que aún no sabemos quién es y eh, nos dejó, vamos, nos dejaron hecho un colador con un brazo con el hueso así todo roto y eh, tirados con Blancanieves ahí. Y se llevaron al Icaboth Crane y eh, pues eh, comenzamos episodio 4. Porque quedamos así, con lo cual, no sé yo. Bueno, ahora viene un Primus Leon. The Wolf Among Us. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these no, women? No, it's true. Ahí fue, ahí fue cuando... Cuando nos dieron pal pelo y al final acabamos matando a uno de los hermanos que ya les tenía ganas. Yo por mí mataba a los dos, pero no, mira, ahí, ahí fue cuando le arrancamos la garganta. Por fin, así sí que mueren, porque mira que son duros estos. Y ahí nos rompe el bracico. Ahí, ahí, sangrando y el hueso para afuera. Ahí, ahí. Qué grima, en serio. In with the new. Long with the queen. Vale. Pues básicamente eso fue lo que pasó en el anterior episodio. Are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay. His internal organs are positively riddled. No te jode. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Mother of me. There. Try not to move. <coughs> Jesus. Ah, ah. Qué asco de brazo. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. My arm. Yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. No muevas, no muevas, tío, no muevas. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. ¿Qué? Ay, la hostia puta. Que me lo tengo que colocar yo. Oh, tengo que dar alguna tecla, ¿verdad? Ay, oh, verlo cómo lo hago. En serio, ver cómo hago esto. Uh, uh. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Qué grima. Otra vez, en serio. Espera, que tengo que... ¡Oh, oh, oh! ¡Oh, qué asco, Dios! ¡En serio, por favor! ¡Qué grimoso! ¡En serio! ¡Ah! ¡Ah! There are limits to what even I can do. It's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. 
Ya, eso también es cierto. Nosotros seguimos tirando para adelante. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Joder. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because okay. I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Ah. Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> There. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time... Joder. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Joder. O sea que la muy putona This nos one. disparó una bala de plata. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure con, out what that con means. Con cabeza hueca. Para más. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. Swiney. Jesus. ¡Oh! ¿Sweeney? ¿Sweeney no será Sweeney Todd? El barbero diabólico. No lo pillo, pero bueno, vale. Cerveza, en serio. So, how do you um feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. How do you think I feel? Like shit. You should see how you look. Hombre, tú gracias, cerdo cabrón. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Rollito, rollito. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived... Vamos a decirle esto. No, I'd never leave you. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Oh, that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? 
I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about Maybe control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily and Faith? Yeah, we're looking for bail, I don't that. know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The crooked man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. Yeah. We need yeah. to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. Ooh, we need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... I'm sure from your vantage point, it's extraordinarily easy to judge me. Big B. But you sit behind a desk all day. And only tonight did you see what it's like to be pushed into a corner all the time just for doing your job. You think I don't know what it's like to have my life in danger? To not be pushed to do things? I know what it's like. And I know what it's like to lie to yourself. To justify what you've done. So don't uh -huh. talk to me like I'm other people. Vale. Look, Bibi, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? <laughs> All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the front. Oh, Ooh. give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta what? be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. <laughs> Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. ¿Qué pasa ahora? Me cago en la leche. waiting in your office right now. Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. 
Thanks, Bigby. A ver si podemos evitar que vaya a la granja, tío, le conseguiremos con la mur o lo que sea. Tampoco hay que ser tan hijos puta, pero bueno. Si nos deja opción, si no. A ver cómo hacemos. Estamos hechos un colador. Madre mía. Madre mía. Ah, bueno, esto fue la intro, es cierto. Siempre se me olvida que al principio de cada episodio hay una pequeña intro. Pero bueno. Qué putado. Pues tal y como estamos y si seguimos así, no sé si acabaremos el, el episodio 5 muertos, sinceramente. Me está dando que el personaje como siga pa pateado por todos los sitios... No sé si acabará muerto. Y es una pena, porque yo quiero que haya rollito con Blanca Nieves, coño. Que hacen buena pareja. El mandón, ella mandona. O sea, o sea. Vale, episodio 4. Disfrazado de cordero. Vale, ahí está Hi, la chica. Sheriff. Hi, Nerissa. Nerissa. Menudo nombrecico. Have a seat. Qué asco de oficina, chaval. I um are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. ¿Sigues fumando? ¿En serio? Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. Digo yo, no you decirlo directamente. I just go ahead. It might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries, and you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. O sea, sí. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now... They're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. Es I que need me estoy you to know. I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. Para... No la vamos a presionar. O sea, estoy intentando ayudar, pero... I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. 
I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Ah, it's Do you cierto. like it? Hmm? Do you? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Si se lo quitamos? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! The lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! Ooh. You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Sorry, I wish I could do something. O sea, que si se lo quitan, ¿qué pasa? ¿Muere? No sé, es que no sé. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have Ooh. to go. O sea que sí, que tenemos que seguir esa pista. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off. Or... No, it's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Digo yo? Hmm. Es que para mí que insinuó eso cuando you know, se iba, en plan... A while back. She Oof. was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That Th would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows Qué lista, no? Pues claro. Te jode. I have other matters to attend to. Siempre tienes otros asuntos que atender. No es ninguna novedad. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into With either. Good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to Oh, what do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? 
Tío, ¿en Listen, serio? I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Bueno, bueno. Can I... So have you, Bigby. Vete a tomar por culo. Sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. Porque eres un gilipollas. Night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast. If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? Pero será petardo. It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Vale, pues vamos a indagar. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. <clears throat> one little Talk about thing. living in the past. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to Porque break tocas así las cosas. And answers. No lo pillo, en serio. Voy a tetera. Finish this later. But we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Vale, tenía que ver eso y ya salen estos. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. Buah, tío, te lo estás say, ganando. Your place? It looks uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast. No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you. But I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Digo yo, están haciendo gilipollas. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. Then just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. Sí, yeah. Yes, we couldn't just give that we up. We never meant yeah, for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. Uh -huh. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like A ver, uno de los Hi dos. There. You've reached Beauty and Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just uh a day at the beach? Skiing the slope? Hey. We're not done yet. And we can't come should... to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. Que ridículo. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Because next time, I'm making a house call. What the hell did you get yourselves into? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. What the fuck? 
All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. Hijos but never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but... I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess mm. I'll go check out the Lucky no, Pawn. Eh? If I can't track so that Crooked out. Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, baby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you, but I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And... It's the only thing I've been able to pick up, and it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. Well, if Mary works out of there... I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Oh, gracias. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Hola, ya estamos en un dilema. Carnicería o Lucky Pound. Venga, empeños. The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'm going to the Lucky Pawn. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait, I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? Ayudaros. What do you mean? 
Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Qué sois, what do you say? Can you help us out? You're asking me to kill him, aren't you? Is that what you think I do? Uh, no, of course not. I don't know how you'd get that idea. Ah. We just we know that the crooked man is dangerous. Ya, ya, to all claro. of Fabletown. No, 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 pero I'm si lo matas no pasa job. nada. Lucky for you, that might just solve your problems anyway. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure ya, ya. you'll do the right thing. Claro. Maricones. Bueno. Vale. Antes de nada, vamos a dejar ya el vídeo aquí por hoy. Porque ya me ha sonado el coso y luego pasa como el episodio pasado que solo van dos capítulos largos. Porque se me fue la pinza y en fin. Así que espero que os haya gustado el vídeo. Nos vemos en el siguiente. Así que besitos.